Hey guys, welcome back to TRD Reloading. I am the Reloader Dude. Okay, in the last video, we just showed you basic case prep, and that's what that was called, basic case prep with the Lee Challenger uh, press and Lee four die set. <clears throat> in this four die set, you have a resizing die, and you also have a neck sizing die. <clears throat> If you full length resize, it is not necessary to the, use the neck sizing die. But I have found with the Lee presses, let me go ahead and stick in this other quick change, call it. Okay. I have found that with the neck size call it die, if you go ahead and you resize, full length resize, and then you neck size, and it's simple to set up the neck size die too. Just take it all the way down until it touches the shoulder. Okay. And then tighten the lock ring like before. Okay. And then all you do is stick in the case. And what this does is uniforms the inside of the neck. It is not necessary, but what I have found with the Lee dies that I do get better consistency and better accuracy if I go ahead and do that. Okay, it's real simple to do. So you just set up the die after everything has been trimmed. Sometimes it's hard to get it lined up. Go ahead and resize the neck. So it's just a quick little extra step that is not necessary, but I have found with the Lee press and the Lee dies, I do get better accuracy when I go ahead and I resize full length resize and then come back after everything is trimmed, make sure everything is lined up and then resize the neck. I just get a better, better consistency, better, better uh, groups. Not a necessary step, but one that I would recommend that you go ahead and do if you have the Lee, the Lee kit. Okay, but we're going to set those aside because all these have been full length resized. <clears throat> if you buy new brass, this is something that you're not going to have to do. Uh, not all brass you will have to do this with. But with military type cartridges, 223, sometimes 9mm, sometimes 308, they have crimped in primer pockets. Okay, they do that so that water or dirt and all that can't, cannot get into the primer pocket because when you're in the military, you want to have consistent rounds that go bang every time. Okay, so this is not a necessary step if you go ahead and you buy new cases for the 223 Remington. But what we have here is a go, no-go primer pocket check tool. It's not a necessary item to purchase. But you can take this tool and you can stick it into the bottom of the, the primer pocket. And if it goes in and comes back out to a certain depth, it is not swaged and it's good to go ahead and prime and reload. Okay. If it doesn't go in, that means it has a crimped in primer pocket. I got this one from Ballistic Tools. They were nice enough to send it to me. To, okay. But what you will have to have, if I can get this box open. Sometimes these boxes are easy to open and sometimes with my old hands, it just doesn't want to work. Okay, so what we have here is a primer pocket swaging kit from RCBS. So we're going to stick in another collet into our press and lock it in. What you do is you take the, the swaging die and this is just a quick, simple setup and that's what I like and that's why we're showing you all these. Okay, then it has this little piece that fits over the, over the rim. Okay, you want to take out your shell holder. And it has little shell holders that takes the, the crimp out of the brass. So you slide in the swaging tool, screw the die down until it touches. Okay. Once a touch, just lock down the lock ring like on everything else. 
Okay, then what you do is you take your brass and you put it on, you push it into the die. Okay, once it's in the die, then you just push down and pop it. Okay, and then to get the brass off, you just pop the press. And what that does is it takes out the crimp in the primer pocket. You only have to do this one time to the brass. The hardest, the hardest part about using this tool is getting it to go in over the little collet. Okay? But once you get it, just pop it in, takes out the, the crimp, bring it up down, pop the press, and out comes the, the, the brass. So what we're doing here is we're moving the crimp, okay, on military type brass. It would help if I could see, okay? So once the cr crimp is removed, pop it out, go to the next one. Okay, so this is a step that is not necessary on every piece of brass, but if your primer pocket is crimped, you will not be able to get a good seat of the primer. Uh, when I first started reloading uh, 223, I thought the cases that I was using was, was not crimped, and they were, and I tried to put primers in there and I had a heck of a time. So if you're having problems with your primers going in or seating correctly into your brass, it's because it needs to be, to be swedged out, the primer pocket. That's an extra step. It's not required on every piece of brass, but it will be required on ones with crimped in primers. And a lot of 223 do have the crimped in primers. All right, there's just a quick little, little video setting this up you can hear my phone keeps going off back there obviously people think i'm important but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to swage all these primer pockets and that will be the complete end to a uh, case prep on on bottom neck cartridges it's real simple clean your brass make sure it's clean resize the brass uh, there's all different ways to resize like i said but we're full length resizing so it'll work in any firearm <laughs> from there we trim the brass, uh, we chamfer and deburr the case mouth. On the, on the Lee setup, it does it automatically. And then next, we take out the, the primer pocket uh, crimp. Makes it simple, 100% case prep, ready to go for the next step in reloading. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned because we're going to show you how to do it the easy way on the Lee Tour Press. All right, guys, appreciate it. Thank you.